channel. If you've never tuned in before, I'm glad uh, that you are checking us out tonight or today. You know, this channel is dedicated to a, a project. The project is to run or train to run a sub four minute mile after 60. And um, I'm almost 60 years old. And uh, right now, I have a big challenge ahead of me. I'll be 60 years old when uh, the next big uh, milestone appears on the horizon on the calendar. I'm looking at January 31st. That will be the day when I plan on running a sub six minute mile. 21 days from now, that's when I have to show up on the track, on the course, wherever we select as our, our venue and uh, put all my thinking, all my planning, all the preparation, all the mental games, the preparedness, put it into action and actually get it done. And um, there are 10 things that I think I need to focus on before we get to that spot, that moment at the starting line. And the first thing I have to focus on finding a course. Finding a course, that has been a, a troubling uh, dilemma for a long time because I can't find the perfect course around uh, here, Corona around Loma Linda, because there are no tracks available for me to run on. That would have been the perfect, but uh, other than that, the streets are up and down, too busy, too rough, and um, the parks where I run, uh, um, they're not conducive to um, good uh, measurement and timing, and uh, there's also too soft uh, to try to get um, a, a PR or a good um, uh, time because uh, the, 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 the soggy or the soft conditions actually serves to slow down the process of uh, running fast. Uh, number two, I have to get my uh, racing kit right. I'm talking about the singlet, which I have already. The shorts, I have those. But uh, the, th the question is about what shoes will I wear for the event. What I'm gonna do is uh, plug in my um, racing shoes. I haven't used those in forever. And um, because I think what happens with those racing shoes, they don't have enough, uh, as much cushioning on my, as my trainers. And uh, I think I uh, end up getting um, a little bit more pain and soreness after I run in them. But, but that's because I, I always run hard when I'm running in them, I guess. Number three, I have to focus on some different, uh, some tweaks to my form, my running form. When I say tweaks, <laughs> some of these uh, things that I see are major because I, uh, I, I did some major damage over time, biomechanical, uh, uh, bad form habits, bad uh, foot plant striding. All these things have uh, accumulated over years of running on bad surfaces. Uh, number four, I have to work on getting plenty of quality sleep. That uh, is um, probably the second most uh, important thing I need to do is to get the sleep that I need. Sleeping in the day isn't working out. That's not quality sleep, so I have to sleep at night. Number five, got to work on the diet. And it's been quite a while since I've used my Lose It app, the app that helps me to stay focused, to keep my caloric intake uh, under control. I haven't used the app since the day before Thanksgiving, which is over a month ago. And number six, I need to shed the pounds. Uh, yesterday I was 137.6 pounds and I'm trying to get down to 125, which means I have something like 12 to 13 pounds that I need to lose. I have uh, about 21 days to do that. It's possible, but not if I'm just eating at random and not paying attention. So I've got to shed the pounds. All right, number seven. Got to stick to the training program. We got to stick with the program and it's not much longer. And uh, if I just stay with the program, I'll be doing well. All right, number eight. Important to stay injury free. So as you just heard just now, I'm doing a lot of things 
to make sure I don't um, injure myself. Now, number nine, I need to coordinate with the photographer. Yeah, so that uh, we can get pictures of the event. And I told my photographer, anytime on Sunday, the 31st, just let me know and I'll be ready. I only need a photographer for about, for about 10 minutes of filming him. The race itself should only boil down to about six minutes or less. That's the, 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 the mile distance there and the time to do it. And I, I can warm up and cool down on my own time without the photographer there. And the last thing I have to work on, which is number 10, is getting the measurement and the recording and the tracking for the course, uh, for the event, for the mile event, right. There may be other things that I missed here, but those are the things that I that came off uh, the top of my head. And I wrote that list um, uh, this morning when I was getting ready to go to the beach. Yeah. So there, there it is, there it is.